Yo, what's good? It's D. Scott Yo, and I am here with this UFC Fight Night analysis and prediction. Um, UFC Fight Night Singapore. Early card. Cerrone versus Edwards is the headliner. I'm going to try my best to get up for it. Um, but it has four decent fights on the main card. First fight, we have Lee Gian Leon, the leech, versus Daichi Abe. Um, this is a really good fight. I think this is going to be a close matchup. Both are mainly strikers. Lee Jian Liang, he may take it to the ground. He's a striker himself. Um, Lee Jian Liang, he's a really good striker. Very powerful. You know, he has a lot of power. We don't typically see from the Asian fighters. Very powerful, very aggressive striker. You know, he can get wild at times, but he's very dangerous at all times. He has really good knockout power. For a welterweight, Daichi Abe, he's a really calculated, really good striker, really good counter ability with his striking. He's coming off his first loss against uh, Luke Jumeau. You know, that was a really highly contested fight. This is a really good matchup. Um, it should mainly take place on the feet. We don't know how good Daichi Abe's his grappling rod is because both his first two fights in the UFC has been striking matchups. Li Jiang, Liang. Pretty well rounded. Pretty pretty well rounded. He can take it to the ground if he so chooses. I think he will really only do that. He'll really only do that as a panic technique, you know. If he if he gets hit with a with a good shot or not. But I mainly can see this fight staying on the feet. Um Jian Liang, he tends to get wild at times, so that could come into play with Abe who's really calculated and really good at countering. So he's gonna have to look out for that, but um, Lee is definitely going to have the power advantage And he's definitely going to be the aggressor in this fight So I expect fireworks in this fight Yeah, for my prediction with this fight I could really see it going either way But I give the slight edge to Lee Because his his power is just different I just think he holds a, a, a different amount of power than Daichi And I think that can make the difference in this fight But I can't see Daichi just smartly countering him for the all three rounds as well so i can see that outcome as well but for my prediction i'm gonna say lead by knockout in the second round the next fight we got jessica rose clark versus jessica i um jessica rose clark she's 2-0 in the ufc last win against paige van zandt and jessica i she was successful in her ufc 125 pound debut you know, she fought a close fight, won that fight. Jessica I, she's finally in her weight class. She's been fighting at 135. So she's really been um, fighting outside of her weight class. But now the UFC has opened up this 125-pound division. She's in her rifle weight class. You know, she came into the UFC undefeated, I believe. You know, now she's 12-6. and six, But she hasn't lost at 125 yet. So we'll see how far she can go. And Rose Clark, she's putting together a nice win streak um one of the most successful 125 pounders since the division was started striking wise i have to get the edge to jessica i i just think with her boxing uh with her boxing background you know she trains at that same camp with stipe so with her boxing background i think she's gonna have the advantage you know she also has really nice footwork I think yeah, so I, I think she's gonna have the advantage when it comes to the striking. Um, grappling wise, um, Jessica I she really showed her grappling in her last fight. In her last fight she was actually getting outstruck, but she won the fight with her takedown, so I think she's gonna look to implement more takedowns in her career going forward. And Jessica Rose Clark, she won her fight with Paige Van Zant by using her takedowns and grappling it as well. So far with her career, she's averaged two takedowns a fight. This fight is, I think this fight is going to come down to who wins the, the battle of the takedowns. Who really wins the wrestling in this matchup. I think they they pretty evenly matched. They pretty evenly matched. I give the slight edge to Jessica I in the striking. But I'm going to have to go with Jessica I in this fight. I'm just going to say because her experience, she's had more UFC fights, fought higher caliber. She's been fighting up a weight class, fighting tough girls at a higher weight class. So I think she'll be able to. She'll be able to get the best of uh, Rose Clark on the feet. And I think she'll come out on top with the takedown battles. 
So I'm gonna go with Jessica I in this fight by decision. Next fight, we got a light heavyweight heavyweight fight over in St. Pru versus Tyson Pedro. Tyson Pedro, one of the young up and comers in this light heavyweight division over in St. Pru, long time veteran. Um, yeah, this is a kind of a crossroads fight. Um, Tyson Pedro, he he. He failed in his first attempt against Latifi at a step up in competition. And over in St. Pru, he's coming off again, uh, put to sleep by Latifi. So they have that common opponent. Um, OSP, OSP, he still has that natural ability. But um, in my opinion, he's just failed to evolve. You know, he's pretty much fought the same style, same, pretty much the same techniques. You know, especially with his hands, I feel like his hands has, has not gotten any really any better. You know, which is how he got caught with Latifi. His hands really has not improved at all. You know, and I know he's been he spent his whole career with that uh, the camp in Tennessee, but I think he would benefit from um, just getting new looks. You know, especially to work with his hands. I believe um, Tyson Pedro, really good of a comer. Uh, Striking is striking is decent, you know, but he's mostly a grappler. You know, seventy one percent of his uh his wins come from submission. So if I see if he wins this fight, it's probably gonna come down to a submission. Um but OSP is a well versed in submission as well. He's mastered that Von Flu choke. We've seen him finish uh multiple people with that choke. So he's really good from the top position. So I think the person who is on top is probably gonna have an advantage in this fight. Uh, striking wise, I give the slight edge to OSP. I think he has more power. Um, he's more dynamic on the feet. Um, Pedro is manageable on the feet, but I have to get that edge to Ovin St. Pru there. Yeah, this is a good this is a good step up for Pedro. Good opportunity for him to get into that top ten and OSP. He's going to want to have to maintain his ranking. So, we'll see how this one goes. This should be a good fight. Uh, two people with finishing ability. For my prediction in this fight, I think they're both tough. I'm going to say... I'm going to say St. Prue. I'm going to say St. Prue by decision in this fight. You know, but Pedro can catch him in the submission. Pedro is really well-versed with submission. Finished his last fight with a, a Kimura. So, he's... he's very very well versus submission so we can't catch OSP but I'm gonna go with OSP in this fight by unanimous decision now for the main event we got Donald Cerrone versus Leon Edwards Donald Cerrone perennial contender uh, Leon Edwards riding a nice I think five fight winning streak this is a nice this is a nice opportunity for Leon Edwards to get that name opponent Leon Edwards I think he's a very underrated fighter. Has really good wins against lesser known guys, but really good like uh, Albert Tumanov and Vicente Luke. And we know Donald Cerrone. We know Donald Cerrone is really good. You know, coming off that win against Yancey Medora's first round knockout, showing he's still dangerous. Still dangerous. And we know Donald Cerrone, really well rounded fighter. Very dangerous striker. Really good kicks. Uh, one of the best head kicks in the, in the MMA game. Really good striker. He has the ability to take the fight to the ground. Really good jiu-jitsu as well. From top position, especially off his back. Really good off his back as well. So, Cerrone is dangerous in all areas of the game. Um, Leon Edwards, he's another well-rounded fighter. Really well-rounded. Good, good striking. Very good ac accurate striking. He's very athletic. Um, good wrestling, you know. Good, he has a good wrestling. He's a good grappler as well. Um, Leon Edwards, he tends to wrestle more than Cerrone in his fights. Cerrone will go for takedowns in his fight. If if he, I feel like Cerrone, he goes for takedowns when he feels the striking isn't entirely in his favor. He'll go for takedowns. Leon Edwards will mix in takedowns as well. He mixes it up really good. Um, in this fight, both are extremely dangerous. I think both are very capable of finishing each other. I see this fight either 
I see this fight either ending early. I see this fight either ending early or going the whole distance. You know, both are really good. Both are really well-rounded. So I see this ending early or going the distance. Um, this is a good opportunity for Leon Edwards, man, to get this named opponent. I know he's going to be, from what I've seen with his, uh, the build-up interviews, he's very determined. You know, he got a chip on his shoulder. He feels like he has something to prove. You know, and Cerrone, Cerrone just fights. Cerrone just fights. He fights anybody. doesn't really care. He just fights. Um, for my prediction with this fight, I'm going with Leon Edwards in this fight. 